everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. If I was Jerry Maguire, I'd be saying, show me the execution plan whenever it comes to a query in Fabric Data Warehouse. And you know what the good news is? In February, as part of the update training that we got, we got execution plans, or more specifically, the capability to do the show plan XML. Now, the show plan XML is in preview. If you look at the documentation for it, it's going to have information on all the vast versions of SQL Server where you can do show plan XML. What does that mean, though? Show plan XML. What does it get us? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go off to the demos. Let's go off to the demos. Let's go off to the demos and show us self an execution plan. I'm in my Fabric workspace, and I'm going to start off by going to my data warehouse, DW underscore T SQL. Now in here, I want to show you that I've already got some tables in place that we're going to be utilizing. The first part of these came directly from uh, the demo data set, if you're looking at how to copy this. And then some of these are from a uh, student's database I made a long time ago. We're using the show, set show plan XML statement on. I'm going to run this statement, and it's going to give me the show plan XML. Now, how do I make this useful? So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go over to SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to open a new query window, and I'm going to paste this in. All right, good job, everybody. We're done. No, not just yet. We need to make it legible. So I'm going to save as this XML, and I'm going to say w, DW underscore EXE. I'm going to name it something simple. And then the key is the extension. I want it for all files, and this needs to be a SQL plan extension. So I click Save, and now I can close this XML, and I can open up my SQL plan. And there's a little bit of fabric magic. We now have the estimated execution plan for our statement. Now, there's a whole bunch of things on here. When I look at this, I get exactly what I expect. First, I've got the column store index scan uh, for our date table, also for our trips table, also for our geography table. Uh, you can also see I've got my hash match, an aggregate, a sort, a compute out. There's a lot of wonderful, great information in here, but even better, hit F4 and we get the property windows. This isn't fabric magic. This is SQL magic right here. It's been around for a long time. And what this allows me to do is dive into these individual items on the graphical plan. So for example, if I go ahead and look at the select, I can see what the subtree cost is, the estimated cost. I can see memory grant, hardware optimization. I can even see statistics on the table, what statistics were utilized. For example, these use an underscore WA, which means they were created by the optimizer. So let's go ahead and let's look at this structure, right? Because I could click on these individual items and I could click down in to be able to find more information about each of them. And this is where the execution plan is so important. If you're familiar with execution plans, you've been wanting this in DW for a while. If you aren't familiar with them, well, you're going to get real familiar with them because this is going to be a great way for us to troubleshoot and look at performance. So other great thing now, not only can we get the show plan XML, we can use the estimate query plan in SQL Server Management Studio. That's a little more SQL magic right there. So I close this out. I close out the Object Explorer. There's my statement again, and I can look at this a little more closely. I can look at these individual tables. And one of the things I noticed was, even though I'm not using the date table, I'm not referencing it, it, it still showed up. I was talking with Brad Shatt, uh, Total Smoke Show, right, from the DW team. And he specifically said, well, hey, maybe it's an inner join. So I tried a left join, uh, but what I could see is that a lot of the cost in the previous plan was going to that date table. I removed the cost from the date plan by changing the way that I'm using my join condition, but it's still there. So we've got a little bit of work to do. Uh, we're not doing join elimination quite exactly how I would like, but that's also very important for us to know. And we wouldn't know it without being able to look at the execution plan. Okay, so let's take a look at the cost of this plan. We're at a 3.73, which is more expensive than our previous plan. So when we're optimizing these two things, first off, we should take the date table out completely, right? We don't need the date table. Uh, but we should look at what the cost is because that's going to allow us to look at DMVs. Now, the next one I want to look at is view. Um, view expansion. So for view expansion, I've got a lot of views here. As a matter of fact, this DW courses, it's a very innocuous looking statement. However, when I look at it, 
you can see there's the little plus button for me to be able to shortcut and get a mall map of my overall execution plan. It's a massive, massive execution plan. And that's because I've got about 10 levels deep of nested views on this. This is making this a little too complex. And you can see this estimated subtree cost is 10.8 for this query. That's going to equate to compute for our fabric resource. But what if I went to the base table? What does that look like? Well, it's a much simpler. I'm going directly to one table. I'm converting to the control node and I'm coming out. And as a matter of fact, my estimated subtree cost is 0 0.003. This is a much cheaper query. Often in data warehousing, I see people use view expansion, and this is a great place for us to be able to identify this. We wouldn't know it from the statement itself. We'd have to dig into it, but the query plan lets us see it. So let's look at a more complex query where we've got a where predicate value, we've got some joins, we've got a group by statement going on. And again, I can see that this lets me know, hey, I've got view expansion going on here. As a matter of fact, I can also look at the cost of this. So that way, when we look at the cost, we see 9.9 .9, uh, for our subtree cost. We want this to be less expensive. This is kind of like a Goff score. The lowest score is the one that wins. And now going directly against the base tables, this looks a little bit better. I've got two index seeks. I've got a hash match join, and, it's, and my subtree cost is at 0.2. This is a massive reduction in compute expense, and it makes the query more optimized. And in the end of the day, what we're looking for is we're looking at how do we make our queries more efficient. The execution plan is a massive step forward for us to be able to do that in the data warehouse over the SQL Analytics endpoint. And I'm very excited that we've got this. You want to correlate this with DMVs to be able to make sure you understand the exact cost that we've got for our Fabric instance. All right, you know where we want to keep this going down in the comments. Sound off. Is this helpful? Are you using it? Have you already found it to be helpful? Uh, can't wait to dive into this more, look at the different query uh, iterators that we have and figure out how we're going to optimize these execution plans. Okay, thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one. Hey, Bye, up. everybody. Today's going to be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation.